The sexual abuse scandal at Michigan State widened today. The university is where former sports doctor Larry Nasser worked. He is serving a long prison term for abusing young women. Now Dr. John LaPook reports a former dean there has been arrested as well. William Strample, the very person responsible for supervising Larry Nasser, is accused of inappropriate sexual behavior himself. According to the complaint, Nasser's ex-boss used his office to harass, discriminate, demean, sexually proposition, and sexually assault female students by groping, making sexual comments to students, and possessing nude and semi-nude photos of women, many appearing to be selfies of MSU students. Pornographic videos were found on Strample's work computer. Strample is also accused of neglecting his duty in supervising Nasser, who is now in jail for sexually abusing more than 250 young women, including Olympic gold medalist Allie Raisman. This tragedy could have been avoided. I couldn't have imagined that he was also a predator himself, but I knew he was definitely an enabler. In 2014, Michigan State University student Amanda Tomashow filed a complaint against Nasser for sexual abuse, but an investigation cleared him. I personally was not only victimized by that man, I was re-victimized by MSU when they had the audacity to tell me I didn't understand sexual assault. Strample did establish guidelines for Nasser to follow during exams, but today's complaint states Strample did not actually enforce or monitor these protocols. How does Strample's arrest change the big picture here? I think that it just shows that this was a systematic problem, an institutional problem, not just one bad guy. Nasser sexually abused at least 12 more women after Tomashow lodged her complaint. Today, through his attorney, Strample denied sexual misconduct and neglect of duty. The charges against him carry a maximum of nine years, Jeff. Dr. LeBouc, thank you.